Today's lesson, the double whammy. Go to setup, it's great for bounce plays and then also the crack up for shorts. So when you're gonna use this, trend lines, VWAP, you know, or what will be in, 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 in subject to be used to create a double whammy essentially, or sometimes a triple whammy, will be trend lines, VWAP, or you know, essentially your resistance and support areas. So natural, technical, the sandwich area, previous half day, halt areas, moving averages, downtrend, you know, the downtrend line, support lines, you know, all that type, all that's gonna be coming into definitely key when you want to talk about a double whammy and you want to do a bounce play and you can go for the bounce. And then as soon as that doesn't work out, you know, when you crack a double whammy for support, you've got a great short on your hand, which we're going to get into a live to end off the, you know, to end this lesson off, I'll show you my trade from yesterday, the short of a double whammy. So let's get into some of these double whammy. Um, essentially what I'm seeing, why these double whammies are being created and why they become great bounce plays. So we have right here, double whammy. We have old high of day meets the view up. So old high of day resistance, old high, old resistance equals new support, right? So we can probably bet our bottom dollar that, you know, when we come back down to this 425 ish, you know, area that we've risen up to 555. And now we have the view up there along with it. It usually is great for a bounce. You know, especially when the market's hot, the stock's hot, especially when it's early on, when it's spiking, not two, three, four hours in. You know, it's in it's in that first hour of its initial spike. See, this started spiking probably the 6.30 news wave right here at 6.30. Spiked up the first 30 minutes up to 5.55. So, you know, when you finally come back down, you're still within an hour of that. You know, you're still in. that. That's It's the mob play. Everyone's trading it. Everyone's looking at it. You know when you get down to that double whammy, baby. It is going to be a whammy. And you know you're going to have the VWAP and the trend. Or VWAP and old high of day equals new support. Double whammy area. Great for a bounce. And you get in here right here, it could be right around the VWAP. You could have just gotten in at the VWAP. Still fine. This rises back up to 475, 485. Beautiful bounce play. And you get it twice. I mean, even here, stick, stick to your stop loss. You still get a decent, you know, small bounce out of it. Even if you got in, okay, well, I'm going to try it again. You get in here a little bit, and then again, you get in, and you, even though it cracks the VWAP, we still get that same area. Beautiful for bounces. And that's why I always say area, because it sometimes doesn't just come right down to the penny. The sandwich area meets the view up. So instead of an old high of day equals, you know, new support, old resistance equals new support. We have a little sandwich area. So we did have an old high of day, but here's the sandwich. I got it. The original, I got on, I got in on the top button. This is when I traded this stock. Cause I kept missing, kept missing, kept missing my entries. So I finally got in here, but again, we have a sandwich. So a sandwich built, right? Bottom bun, top bun, sandwich. Now we have view up. So we have not come back down to it fully, right? This was close, but didn't get there. So again, we have not come back down to this area. When we finally do, we get one, two beautiful bounces. We get one that's probably what? Nah, the initial bounce, probably only 20 ish cents, maybe at most 15, but then we get one that is a good 30 cents. And again, later on how you see it, it's trying, it's, it tries to hold that double whammy. VWAP, old high of day resistance equals new support, tries to hold up that 210, 215 area for the longest time. Good double whammy area. Whammy, whammy, gotta love it. I gotta get it, gotta say it like chant, you know? Don't wanna say it too loud and burst your eardrums though. CARV, let's get into carve, let's get into halt plays. Yes, this even works with crazy halt stocks like ENTX. ENTX, all right, yes, just say carve, not ENTX, but carve. We have the old halt up price. This is where it halted up at right here. Of course, this is where it opened, but nice little almost sandwich even right there. But all old halt up price with the VWAP, you know, and all, even kind of where it opened, whatever you want to call it. Look where this bounced. Now, I know again, it's area. The VWAP at the time was probably around 1130 ish. You know, the bounce really we wanted around 1120 ish. But immediately, right through 850, right through 875, right to 12. Even if you're in at the VWAP here, BU to full bounce use those two areas to find your bounces and especially on that first even maybe second bounce but we know when we do crack that which we'll get into it is great for a short had to draw one in here say we have a trend line that meets the VWAP we have a trend line in I, I know there's been multiple of these plays I just don't know how I couldn't find one yesterday besides the live play that I want to get into and I was like well I want to show them this one for a bounce because it didn't really bounce there yesterday which I'm speaking of the NTX 
But say we, you know, how many times when this bounces off the trend line in the VWAP, you know, I just kind of try to draw it in there because the VWAP, you know, I didn't want to make it, you know, because the VWAP is usually a little bit more of a steadier line uh, versus, of course, a trend line, you know, is usually straight. But just when you get the trend line and a VWAP to match up together, like we looked at earlier, and we are going to get a small bounce, we're going to get those bounces. How big they are, though, you have to kind of feel out the stock. It's not all, they're not always going to go just extending into new high a day. But we are going to see somewhat of support at these double whammy areas. Downtrend. And say like the 200 day moving average right here together could be the 50 day moving average. Could y'all, you know, a lot of people in, in chat, I know use the intraday. So say it's a nine EM, EMA or the 13 EMA on the, you know, it maybe it could be the 50 on the intraday, but you have a moving average is my point. You have a downtrend forming. We finally get to the point where we have both of these meet up a 200 day. It could be a VWAP could be old high of day, you know, or old high of day back here was old resistance equals new support. So once we finally get back to it again, which we haven't because we've gone above the resistance, right? And we haven't come back down to it. When we finally do, what do we see? Beautiful bounce. And then on top of the fact, though, we have a downtrend that we're going to break. Whammy. Are you kidding me? Beautiful. You got to find these areas and stick to them. Find them for a bounce, especially when the stock's hot. Find them for a short when the stock's overextended. It's been running for a long time, like I did yesterday. And I'll get to with ENTX. Old high of day, like I said, I would just went into this. Old high of day and or past chart history resistance. So, chat, you know, chart history essentially meets the trend line. Meets the VWAP even. You know, you have the VWAP in here. You've got the trend line, kind of the slide I just showed you. The old high of day area, right? I kind of made this a little look a little bit better. Where we can't break above it, can't break above it. And then finally, boom, we push through it. So kind of that sandwich area, right? So we have upper shadow, upper shadow, right? And then finally we break above it, we bounce on it. So a sandwich being built there. And really, later on, we probably would have seen a better bounce right here. I just kind of made this really, really ugly over here. The point is, that for the bounce plays, so though, look for these areas to combine together. I know I've mentioned them in the chat. I know some of you have gotten them down. But look for these areas to line up together. Again, trend line, VWAP, old resistance equals new support, moving average, all those different things. When those two, any of those two line up together, look for a bounce when it comes down to them. You know, you don't often, I'm, you know, you'll see me saying, I can't wait for the view of the trend line of the view up to match up. Man, if the stock can just pull down to that perfect bounce area. And then again, when it's held up above so long, say above the trend line and the view up, and we finally get down to it. Let's just get into our last example of the day. Well, really we have two in a row, two days in a row. This has happened. ENTX trend line. VWAP, we break through bro, 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 both, both look at the short to be had. The better example was from yesterday where I waited and I waited and I waited patiently, P-A-Y with a big O P-A-Y because I waited whew, like a, like a, just a, you know, a sad little stock sniper just waiting for the longest time in my tower, waiting for this to kind of pop up here for me. Why well, it's not doing it down there. Just take it from there then maybe. There we go. I don't know why it's not kind of showing there, but whatever. Just taking my time over here, team. I know I'm the worst. Making it look nice and pretty. Nice and pretty. But again, boom, whammy. Break the, tr break the trend line. Break the VWAP. Now, they're not right in line with each other, but they're relatively close, right? So we didn't get that bounce. It tried to stay in that area. You know, you could fix the trend line, make it look like it bounced a little bit more. But look again, we stay above the trend line for so long, the VWAP for so long. We come back down to it and we don't bounce. And I'm just waiting for it finally because it's you see how it's coming down like a little basketball effect, slowly making its way down. We crack this area together. Look at the short to be had. Look how this completely collapsed when you broke the trend line and broke the VWAP. Let's look at seal today. I know these aren't lined up together, but you know, you have these two areas, support resistance and the, the, I should say two areas of support. When you crack through both great, you know, shorts to be had that just when you have these closer together as my point, kind of like yesterday with ENTX, when you crack those areas, you know, together, it's really hard to continue to stay up. Now still kind of made it to move back up. That is definitely 
a very, again, though, it wasn't kind of a double whammy together. But when you get these two to line up, and I, like I said, I wish I'll just kind of do it for an example. But you see, when you crack that area, you truly crack a trend line in a view up this double whammy area, and it's just not holding. The, the bounce is not happening. Beautiful, beautiful for the short side. Hopefully that helps you out seeing those two areas together where they combine as some support for a long, you know, they can be great early on, but then no, the more that gets tested or the longer that trend line and view off has been extended, you know, eventually uh, it was great for bounces earlier. Well, now it's probably going to be really good for a short because it's been, you know, just held up too long. It really hasn't pushed off of the trend line and view op or when it finally does, like I said, come down to it because it's now collapsing and cracking. So hopefully that helps you guys out with the double whammy. <laughs>